whenever I post a picture of this bike online, without doubt, the number one question I get asked is, what is this luggage here? So today, I'm going to take you through the Raid Adventure Motorcycle Luggage. Stick around. Whoa. So let me take you through this bag. This is a 60 litre capacity. It's a simple U shape and it straps onto the seat of the bike or onto the rack of the bike. So mine sort of does both. It straddles the seat and the bit of the rack. Um, it doesn't have any internal uh, bags or anything like that that fits in there. All it is is just a simple single um, storage area uh, with a big zipper at the back here, which I'll show you later. So to attach this bag to the bike, essentially you've got six different attachment points. You've got this one down here, which basically straps the back at the bottom of the bag to a foot peg or the chassis or whatever. These buckles here, they're not designed for you to actually tighten this down. Basically all you do is you attach this and then you use the straps up the top there to pull it tight. Um, the other attachment points, which I don't use, um, are these ones here. So these are straps which can sort of go around a chassis rail or a hand rail or a rack or whatever you like. Um, I don't think they're necessary so I don't bother with them because I use gotcha straps like these to attach everything else and that sort of pulls everything down. The main straps um, that I use for tension is this one here. So there's two of them. Basically they go underneath the bag and through the rack here and then they just clip over and all you do is just clip them up clip them up and then pull them tight so that that's what tensions the bag back against those bottom straps so these ones around the side here these are purely to hold your load so basically you just pull them up just so that it stops everything from rattling around inside the bag that's all they do um, it's got this big flap here this is all made of tough polypropylene uh, material it's pretty waterproof I've had this thing sitting in rain like solid two hours of rain it wasn't torrential but it was pretty heavy rain and everything stayed dry in this bag so I was pretty impressed it's got this massively heavy duty zip I don't see anybody breaking this thing in a hurry um, and what I do is basically I just stuff my sleeping bag because I don't have it doesn't have a, a great deal of space it's only 60 litres so it's not massive and that's how I like it because the more you space you have, the more crap you carry. So it, in, this, in this bag, I keep my tent. This is a three-man tent, Denali Storm 3. Quite a big tent, bigger than what I really need, but it does the job. And I'm happy with it. Also carries my food bag. So that's got all my cooking gear in it and a little bit of food. Then further down in this leg here, camp pillow. Digging a bit further. That's my mattress, or my sleeping pad. Now right down the bottom of this, which I'm not going to pull out, is a spare tube. And that basically just sits down there. Um, I leave that right at the bottom of the bag because I use this stuff every single time I go camping, but I've never needed to use that tube, touching wood. In the other side here, I've got my tent pegs, so I'll stack them separately. And then these are my luxury items. So this is my camp chair, our track. Um, which is like a Helenox ripoff or whatever, but anyway, it does the job and it works. And the other thing I've got down here, this is my little camp table, so that's a little fold-out table. Nice, really handy little thing. And that is it. So that's what I can get in this bag. Um, the reason why I chose this bag over the usual systems that people use, um, which is the saddlebags, is I really just didn't want to have the racks and everything on the bike. Essentially, all I wanted to do was do my camping trips remove the bag and then just go back to having my trial bike as it was once I get rid of the tank bag and all the other crap. So that's the way I like it. Um, downsides. The, I, I really, really like this bag. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, you can see the slope um, shape of it means that if I'm going down steep hills, um, I can slide my, my backside all the way back up onto it and uh, it doesn't really get in the way like I can't slide like right to the very back of the seat but it's certainly better than um, a lot of setups so happy with that um, 
these straps are a little bit fiddly the ones at the bottom but as I said before these aren't really meant for you to tension them you're supposed to just tie them down and then you use the back strap to, to pull the whole bag back tight just keeps it all sort of in place one other thing here you'll see is this scuffing so because this is, this does still move around a bit it does put some marks on the plastic now I can tell you that that all that needs is just um, a bit of polish to, to remove that um, and that'll come off uh, without any trouble at all so the other thing that happens is um, because I've got this GSX-R muffler on it or a Hayabusa muffler on it the original um, rubber stopper doesn't sit properly against it and this actually puts a bit of weight on it and you used to just push this back corner up against the muffler you can see it wore a little bit so all I did was I just got some double-sided tape hopefully you can see that and just stuck a rubber stopper there which I just bought from Clark Rubber and then that that fits perfectly so other than that I don't really see any downsides with this bag it's cheap like the price is really really good um, and much cheaper than they'll say the, the giant loop type bag which is a you know much sort of there's much more of a fancy system than this is this is just a simple U bag with a hole in it but it does the job and I'm really pleased with it and I'm really proud that it's made in Perth so uh, genuine Australian product and it's just a little manufacturer just a little local guy so anyway if you're interested uh, I'll put some details right now in regards to how you can make contact with them and uh, get hold of one for your very own when I consider all the things that go in this bag which is all this stuff here um, there's still a little bit of space that's left over because some of these things like this things that are square they don't pack that well and, and you know they don't fit the space that well so there's always a little bit of air gap um, where I could fit some more stuff maybe some clothes or something soft or whatever or some more of these things which can sort of squash up and move around um, but what I do is I have a dry bag which I carry my clothes in um, and that basically expands and contracts depending on how many days I'm away but this one here um, that that bag the road adventure motorcycle luggage doesn't change size it, 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 this stuff here just stays in it all the time uh, essentially it, when I when I finish a camping trip I just undo it pull it off chuck it in the corner and then when I'm ready to go out again I'll just stick it on there the only thing I might top up is maybe my gas or sugar and coffee and that sort of thing but everything else I just carry with me so anyway as I said before I'm really happy with this bag uh, I will continue to use it I don't plan to get anything else um, except maybe adjusting what I do with my dry bag setup, uh, maybe something with some more pockets on it so I can carry some small things. But anyway, that's it. And I hope you enjoy this review and I hope you support this local manufacturer. Take care.